Hello everybody, I'm Savvy, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we collected all 30 blue coins of Rico Harbor, and in this one, we are going to be starting the new world of Noki Bay. This one actually opened up a while ago, but we had to finish up our other worlds before we even started with this. So you just stand in this beam of light here, look into the sun, and boo, there we go. Noki Bay, uncork the waterfall. Ew, looks like a mess. Oh, things are already coming back together, I guess. Oh my god. Yeah, so the one thing I will say is this emulation. Uh, the goop does not want to stay intact for some reason. Like, I don't need to clean it. It kind of cleans itself, which kind of sucks, because there's not really much of the challenge there. So, yeah. All right, but let's make our way up and dodge these, whatever these things are. They're not really balls. They're not... I mean, they look kind of spherical, but they're not really a ball if you catch my drift. But we had to make it to the top. Can I wall jump, please? No? Wall jump? There we go. If the, It looks familiar because you got this gopher guy again. And he's throwing his bob -ombs. Just Spray them, make sure they turn blue, and then throw them right at him. Just like that. We need to throw three of them at him. Come on. There you go. And boom! But instead of a secret shine showing up, it's pretty much just... You destroy him, and then the waterfall becomes uncorked. Whoa, that audio though. <laughs> oh my god. All right, that's shine number one for Noki Bay. Yahoo! All right, let's get out of here and head back into Noki Bay, shall we? I can't believe we have 20 lives. That's crazy. That is crazy. Episode two, the boss of Tricky Ruins. Hmm. Going into ruins, aren't we? So that's an indicator of where we need to go. Also, same with the gold coins. Also, I remember last episode with the 30 blue coins. I kept calling these yellow coins. I mean, they are yellow, but they're technically gold. They're, they're gold coins, but you, you know what I meant. <laughs> you know what I meant, guys, right? Oh, don't step in the water. Excellent! Way to go, Master Mario. You have returned our waterfall to normal. Bravo! What's that? The ocean's still dirty? Strange. It looks like my theory was way off. <laughs> That's okay. I think I've got a lead on the real cause. Now, this may not seem like much of a reward, but I'm going to reveal to you one of Noki Bay's deepest secrets. Ah... Okay. This bay actually contains the tomb of an ancient Noki king. When you spray water on the wall paintings, a path usually opens. It's almost like magic, and one path leads to a hidden shine sprite. Honest, this is all true. Maybe. Okay, you say it's all true, and then you say maybe. Alright, so as he was hinting, we're supposed to go over there, but how do we do it? Well, you spray this, and... This big old maze just forms itself, like huge indentations in the wall show up. And we basically have to make our way through it. Make our way through it with ease. We have to be careful with these bloopers. And you're probably wondering why, like, why are bloopers do- what are bloopers doing here? Well, you'll soon find out. But we gotta spray the next one. 
we'll jump our way through here. You can see some blue coins, so you'll know where some are. And I will say in Noki Bay, the blue coins are kind of, they're pretty much one of the hardest blue coins to get in this game because they're hidden pretty well. But we make it to the top and oh my god! It's Blooper again! Oh my god. What's he doing here? Why is he here this time? I guess he couldn't... Well, he definitely couldn't stay at Rico Harbor anymore, so I guess he made his way to Noki Bay, but... What I want to know is how on earth did he get up here? How did you get up here, Blooper? That's what I want to know. Yeah, yeah, do your little ink thing. But he can't really do much of it because there's already water there. So it's preventing him from spraying all of it around. Alright, I'm going to get rid of your tentacles just because it's a nuisance. Yeah. Alright, now I can pull on your mouth and boom, there you go. Goodbye, Gooper Blooper. It was nice knowing ya. And then this opens up and we make our way all the way down. And we're in the ruins. And here's our shine sprite. Yeah. Number 47. Alright, we're on our way to episode 3. Let's go back in. Episode 3, red coins in a bottle. Yep, more red coins. Yay. Ooh, that's a pretty big bottle. It's like half that guy's size. I've got it! Yes, I surely do have it. What have I got? Why, the answer to our polluted ocean problem, of course. And the answer is you. You must go to the ocean floor. Of course, that is impossible for you at the moment. Therefore, I've made an area for you to hone your skills. boop ba beep ba ba beep boop Wear this and you can stay underwater for much, much longer. Use that flood to move around and get red coins. But don't overdo it. If you run low on air, here's what you do. Just grab some regular coins to refill your meter, okay? Now, shall we get started? I don't think he said started, but some of the- The text actually goes by really fast, so I'm like trying to read it pretty fast. Like, uh, the boop bop thing, that just- that stopped on its own. Like, I couldn't control that. Anyway, so we're in a- we shrunk and now we're in a bottle. In the middle of the sky, it looks like, but we gotta get all eight red coins here in this bottle. Alright, so here's coin number four. And we we are underwater, so we gotta be cautious of our air, even though we're wearing a helmet. Gotta be very careful. Five. Uh, oh, there's another red coin. And when you're using flood in here... Oh, come on, get the coin. Get the coin. There we go. When you use Flood in here, you can hold it down for as long as you want. Because it's all water in here. So there's no limitations to it, honestly. It's actually pretty great. And there's coin number eight. And there's our Shine Sprite. The Shine Sprite must be, like, super duper clean. Because it is has staying in this clean water. <laughs> Spotless. Yeah, shine number 48. Alright, we're breezing through these shines like nobody's business. Episode 4, Ely Mouth's Dentist. Well, 
I say we're breezing through these, but this one definitely takes time. That waterfall is a good indicator. Oh, Mario, you're finally setting out for the ocean's bottom. Grandpa is waiting for you up top. Oh, don't forget to wear this. You can use this rope as a shortcut to reach Grandpa. Thank you. Thank you, Grandpa's grandson. Don't even... I don't even, I don't even know if they actually have names. No idea. Come on, get up there, Mario. Alright, just like the Uncork the Waterfall episode, we gotta make our way back up here. And we gotta talk to Grandpa. Hello. You look like you're ready. The gunk in the ocean is caused by a giant eel. It's moved into our ancestral home at the sea floor, and it's nursing some nasty cavities there. Let's take a look. Nasty cavities? Is that why the water is so dirty? The newly uncorked waterfall created a gap in the pollution. That you can use as an entrance. Jump right in there. Dive to the bottom of the ocean and clean that eel's teeth. Doing so will ease his pain and he'll return from whence he came. No doubt about it. Now, gather your courage and dive. Alright, let's do as he says. In the waterfall we go. Oh! Ooh. It's like one of the most beautiful places in the game, in my opinion. Except when that music's playing. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta clean the eel's teeth. And this is an interesting thing. The eel has four eyes. It's not your ordinary eel. It's a eel with four eye well four yellow glowing eyes and dirty teeth. Alright, are you gonna show your teeth to me? When are you gonna show your teeth to me? Okay. Spin cycle. There you use your teeth. There's one tooth. Nice and clean. It seems they're being attacked by plaque. Oh. Oh. Well, we cleaned another tooth, but he lost it. Uh-oh. He does not have a clean mouth. Oh yeah, I need to... There we go. Oh, gosh. There you go. Oh. Well, he lost another tooth. His, his teeth got so... I wonder how his teeth got so dirty, though. And how are these bubbles coming out of your eyes? I don't understand. I don't understand the logic. Oh my god, he is spinning like crazy. Alright, clean this tooth. That tooth. Oh my gosh, she has a golden tooth. There you go, there's another one. Oh no. He's trying to suck. He's trying to do the suck. Don't. No. Are you going to lose another tooth? Yep. Yeah. There goes another tooth of yours. Yeah, give me some oxygen. I believe he has one more tooth left. Right, he's doing the spin cycle again. Come on, I just need to get your last tooth here. And when I get it, you'll be good, be good as new. Yep. Remember to take proper care of your teeth. Oh no, it's golden tooth's gone. Now he only has four teeth. Oh no. Aww. There's a shape of a heart in gold coins. Aww, that's sweet. Alright, let's get down there and our shine. There's no way to swim 
further down. I can't like hit B and swim further down. I, I just have to float down. There we go. Shine number 49. One more shine and we are at 50. That's crazy. Can't believe we're already this far into the game. Oh my gosh. Episode 5. Il Piantissimo Surf Swim. You thought that that was the last of him? Nope, there's more of him. We gotta race him once more. Wonder where the finish line is this time. Ho ho, foolish man! I am Il Piantissimo. Yes, that is me. And now I challenge you to a race that f to to that flag. I can't read. <laughs> I apparently cannot read. But if you notice, the water's clean. It is a race to the finish. The best time is forty seconds. Are you at the ready? Then get set and go. Oh, okay. Well, the, give me a. That gave me a boost. Is this best times 40 seconds? Well, I beat that by less than... Less than half that. And I just gotta wait for him. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> Hope you're having a good day whenever you're watching this. Ooh. Ooh. You are quite speedy. You are like a fish. You may not be the slow clam chomper I took you for. Maybe race again. Watch for me. Well, I don't even know how he can fit that whole shine sprite. You know, when that shine sprite's bigger than he is. Oh my gosh. And there's our 50th shine. Yeah. Awesome. I think we have time for one more, though. We can actually do one more shine for this episode. Because I thought the Ely one was going to take longer, but actually it didn't take as long as I thought it would have been. Alright, episode 6. The Shell's Secret. Well, this one actually might take longer than the Ely one. Yep. Now, I will say... This one in particular, getting up to the shell, the doorway of the shell, is trickier than the actual secret itself. So, yeah. Alright. There's a... I would say there's an easy way to get up there, but really just the path that I'm taking would technically be the easiest, I guess. Just kind of go in the normal way that you would in episode one. Alright, so you see that green spiral platform here? You want to just get on that. That's This is what I usually do, actually. I'll get to the very top. I'll just keep going round and round and round until I get to the tippy top. Or clo close to the top or the very top. I'm trying to think. Yeah, because there is a rope or a wire that's here. And this is actually helpful in getting to the shell secret. So you could just jump off of this and line yourself up like so. There you go. Just like that. And now we're inside. Yeah, yeah. Take my flood. I don't need him. I don't need him for this. Alright, so there's probably going to be a theme that you'll see with this one. For the most part. Yep. It's going to involve wall jumps. Alright, so this one. Yeah, you... 
So I'm gonna wait till that extends out again. Because I'll do that. Just like this. Go on the wall there and pretty much bounce off of it. Yeah. Mario is quite the parkour artist, <laughs> if I do say so myself. I mean, he doesn't really jump off of rooftops and all that, but he, he does a lot of platforming, which, you know, parkour does involve quite a bit of platforming. I'm surprised Mario doesn't have, like, a, you know, he's not ripped, you know? He doesn't have, like, a very masculine physique for all the, all the cardio he does. <laughs> Jumping up and down. Jumping from platform to platform, and oh my gosh. How does he do it? How does he do it? There we go! 51 shines. Yeah. Alright, save. Seems like we have a theme of getting to five to six shines per episode, which I think is a good... It's a good pace, honestly. I could definitely see us finishing this Let's Play within maybe 20 parts. Maybe... Maybe give or take a, an episode or two. Alright. Well, that is it for this episode. We got 56... 56. We got six shines, totaling 51 now. That's crazy. We're getting closer to being halfway done with the game. I can't believe it. So in the next episode, we're going to finish off Noki Bay. Uh, we got episodes 7 and 8, and we also have the secret shine. So we'll see how long those take. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy this, be sure to hit the like button. I would really appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe as well. It lets me know you guys want to see more of this content and future content. I have been Savvy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. See you later.